Well, no surprise, uh, calm conditions and a very, very, very busy day. A large number of people coming in to Dover this morning, uh, and we can see footage. Uh, there is Hurricane, one of the Border Force vessels, absolutely rammed, as you can see, with people that have been picked up in the middle of the channel. Calm conditions in the channel. And I am told, on good authority, that the number... And by the way, the number yesterday was 281. 281 people crossed the channel yesterday uh, and are now in care in this country. I'm told on good authority the number today will be over 400. Whether it's over 430, the previous record remains to be seen. But it's going to be another massive number. And it is significant because this issue is rising up the agenda in terms of the concerns of Conservative voters. And one odd thing that happened today was the French were escorting boats across the channel today and normally they get them to the line and yet for some reason a French warship seemed to spend a fair amount of time in British waters today and you can see the map there you can see the coordinates I don't have an explanation for why that boat came right into British waters but it could be it could be that border force was so completely overwhelmed this morning that every vessel they had was out and perhaps there was no one for the French Navy to hand over to at the line, so they escorted the boat into British waters. Isn't that nice of them? Uh, and so much so, so busy were Border Force that, of course, they once again had to rely on the volunteer crews of the RNLI, and there were five separate lifeboat crews from Kent who were out there today picking up migrants, picking up actually quite large numbers of migrants. Um, and we can see here a group uh, that have arrived sitting on the shingle and they've just been brought in by the boat, uh, the lifeboat at Dungeness. So it is a big, big day and people coming from all over the world, people coming from Africa, people coming from Vietnam, people coming from the Middle East. Uh, goodness only knows how much money the criminal gangs make on a day like today. Certainly, it would be hundreds of thousands of pounds today, but it could even run into the millions. And this is becoming a very, very major issue. I've been concerned about it for over a year. I've done my best to try and highlight it, to try and get it talked about. And all we seem to get from the government uh, is just a sort of endless statements of saying it's all going to be solved, but it never, ever is. So I'm asking you tonight, you know, do you see a solution? Is there a solution? Let me know what you think. You can do it by going to gbviews at gbnews.uk. You can also send in your Barrage the Farage questions for the end of the show. And on a slightly lighter note, it's called the Border Force. But in Dover Harbour this morning, it became the Border Farce. There is a broken down Border Force vessel being towed by another Border Force vessel with a migrant boat behind it. That is a pretty farcical scene that we saw in Dover this morning. But it is a serious issue and it is run by criminal gangs. And I honestly wonder where many of these people who come into the UK, no doubt thinking that it is a land of milk and honey, and perhaps to begin with it is, perhaps being put into a four-star hotel, getting three meals a day, getting access to dentists, to doctors, getting £38 a week pocket money to spend, it probably is, for many people, a very good start. But in the end, I suspect many of them finish up in the illegal economy, effectively working as modern-day slaves, and it's something we hardly ever have a debate about.